I'm going to talk about the Roland Cube 30 today. It's a little digital amplifier that uh, is very versatile and uh, if a beginning student can get his hands on one of these he's got uh, all kinds of sounds that he can experiment with. Uh, I think it's loud enough for rehearsals but it might not be a loud enough amp to actually do a big concert with but uh, Outside of that, it's got, you know, oodles of, uh, of variable sounds and uh, special effects built into it. Usually when I'm operating an amplifier, especially if it's a new amp that I uh, haven't tried out before, I always set the tone controls at 12 o'clock or straight up and down, and then I give the amp a listen. And I might take away some bass or add some treble depending on uh, how it comes up. But uh, on some amplifiers, if you had all the tone controls set on zero, right, and you turn the amp on, there's no sound. So uh, sometimes the tone controls have a lot to do with uh, the actual volume of the amplifier. And, and yeah, they do, I should say. But uh, I start at uh, 12 o'clock with uh, tone controls. So as you can hear, this amp, you know, has a clean sound. That's pretty nice. It's a, right away you get a nice clear tone out of it. I have my guitar on the uh, rhythm pickup, the front pickup, which is usually, you know, a jazz chord type of sound, a full body type of rhythm sound. Doobie Brothers there. Anyway. Let's add some uh, reverb to this. This is digital reverb. Uh, <clears throat> uh, unlike uh, tube amplifiers uh, from the 60s and uh, 70s, like Fender tube amps, had what we call spring reverb. Where there's actual springs inside that are uh, producing a reverb effect. Anyway, so you get this. Uh, sounds like we're playing in a... a you know, in a tunnel or in a hall. You know, so. When you get a small amplifier for practicing, um, it's always a good idea to buy the one that has reverb because it uh, simulates uh, what it would be like to be playing in a hall. Say you're practicing in a, a small bedroom area or in a small uh, room. Uh, it's nice to have that reverb. And, you know, give you the feeling that you're playing in a big hall. And, is coming out of the clouds or something like that. It's a nice effect. It gives it a nice, uh, you know, nice tone. Uh, for people that want to play surf music, uh, it's, this amp's got tons of reverb, so you can get that, you know, uh, you know, you know, typical, you know, typical reverb kind of sound, you know. You know, well, those kind of things are really easy to uh, to get out of this amp. This amp also has delay, which is, a lot of people don't know what the word delay means. It's echo, you know. So it actually sounds like uh, the sound is bouncing off the wall in the back. A lot of uh, boogie woogie or uh, rockabilly. Jump swing guys like a quick echo like that, you know. And they play that. Anyway, you get uh, those kind of sounds out of it. So that's cool. Uh, other effects it has is tremolo. Surf kind of sound, but uh, sounds good when you're doing a Bo Diddley type of uh, rhythm, you know. And you're not limited to having just one effect at a time on this amp, you can have two effects, so we can add reverb to that. So now I have uh, 
you know, tremolo and reverb going at the same time. And that kind of sound, those surf music type sounds. Uh, it's also got uh, flange, which is... Makes the guitar sound like it's traveling down a tunnel, you know. of uh, songs and music that have that phaser. Sometimes I think phaser is better uh, not used with chords, but maybe, uh, you know. Swirls the sound around. Anyway, there's plenty of uh, versatility in the uh, digital effects that this amplifier has. Now, the other thing that we can do with it, we can switch over to uh, the other channel, which gives you distortion. So right away we got, you know, kind of like the opposite of what we were just doing. We went from a clear sound to a, a digital distortion or a distortion sound for, you know, heavy metal. By the way, it's got different types of distortion. It's got a metal distortion, classic, you know, old-fashioned rock distortion. between two and three hundred dollars. If you're uh, investing in your first amp, this is a great way to go. There you have it.